What's up, folks? I'm bringing you the steak pasado tostada, sweet and spicy, delicious. Let's go ahead and check it out. First of all, I'll get you a good, nice skirt steak or any other skate that you might like, ribeye, sirloin, anything will do, but I prefer skirt steak for this. Go ahead and trim up all your fat on the edges, any kind of the tendon looking skin fat. Go ahead and trim that up. Make sure your knife is nice and sharp. You need a sharp knife for this, folks. And let's go ahead and cut that right in half for easier slicing more manageable and go ahead and cut against the grain see that against the grain right there let's go ahead and cut that against the grain like so until all of it's cut into one inch strips now once that's one inch strips you go ahead and cut it sideways and go ahead and do another one inch cubes out of that let's go ahead and cut all that down till it's all down to one inch cubes and uh, let's go ahead and season everything up now the season didn't make the video but it's going to give you a quick run now we got salt pepper garlic powder cumin crushed red pepper olive oil and Worcestershire sauce and you can use also use a little fajita season if you have any on hand now you're gonna need to cut your onion quarter inch slices what I prefer you can use a yellow onion or a white onion it doesn't really matter just go ahead and make sure to slice that and cut that down about quarter inches or so if you like your lemon a little larger you can but it really looks on the presentation better if it's quarter inch let's go ahead and cut that down folks Okay, now everything's chopped up. Let's go ahead and check it out real quick. Make sure it's all consistent. It's pretty close. Go ahead and load that into your bowl. Get all that onion out the way. And next, we're going to get ready for serranos. Now, the folks, these are pickled serranos. And if you don't like your dish that spicy, you can go ahead and use pickled jalapenos if you like. I like mine's a little more spicy. Now remember, this dish is sweet with a little, uh, little spice towards the end. So you can also use pickled jalapenos but I prefer serranos for a little more heat let's go ahead and cut that right down the middle lay it on the side dice it nice and small you want to keep the seeds and everything it all goes into the pot just cut off the stem cut right in the middle and dice it all up go ahead and add that with your onion bowl next add some vegetable oil to a medium hot pan and go ahead and start adding the meat and browning it you're looking about medium high heat folks brown it about three to four minutes and go ahead and flatten that steak out nice and flat you don't want it to steam cook at that point once it's brown add your onions and serranos to the pan mix it in real well and go ahead and sweat that down for about four to five minutes also on medium to medium high heat flatten that out real nice you want a consistent cook on everything okay folks now starting to render down starting to sweat a little bit better and once it's sweated go ahead and add you some canned chipotles for the smokiness this brings a great smoky de deep depth of flavor to your dish and you're gonna love that and it also has onions in there which I like to add the onions out of the can into there and some of the sauce I'll use about two chipotles and simmer that for about three to four minutes to let that chipotle sauce really sink in see it even changes the colors and everything so that's outstanding at that point, go ahead and add you about two cups or so of crushed tomatoes. And uh, depending on how much you make, that's about what you want to put in. This is about one pound of meat, so about two cups is good for that. Now, on the medium high, you're going to want to go ahead and let that medium high simmer for about eight to ten minutes. Probably more towards the medium side. And once all that's done, go ahead and get your warm tostadas. Warm them up in the oven real quick on a baking sheet. Put you some refried beans on those bad boys. If you don't have homemade beans, go ahead and get you some canned beans. That's fine from the store. You might want to pep those up with a little bacon grease, though. Now, go ahead and smother those. There's probably a lot of beans. I make pretty large tostada. So I'm, I'm a big guy, so extra, extra everything for me. Now, here comes the steak patada, which means steak with a kick. And this is my own recipe, folks. I hope you guys enjoy. It has a sweet smoky flavor and has a hell of a kick at the end by the time you by the time you realize you're already sweating it's but it's really delicious not super super crazy hot it's just nice and spicy with some sweet too which is really cool and that's a lot of meat for tasada folks you don't have to put that much but that's a pretty decent amount probably a little heavy but it looks great it's gonna taste good go ahead and add you some queso you can use any type of queso i use cheddar cheese here you can use Kobe Jack, uh, mozzarella would probably be good for this one, but anything you like. 
Next, we'll go ahead and add you some avocado. And this is optional. We had some on hand, so we threw some avocado on. Make sure to 